Hi guys! Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to put together the finished product. To put it all together with your base bow, your spikes, and your twisted boutique bow. So it'll look t together, not separate like I have here. So there's one of them. There's another one that's all together. And there's another one. So the things you're going to need, you're going to need a base bow, which I haven't done a tutorial on that. I can. It won't take very long to do that. It's very simple. It's basically the same as making uh, the Twisted Boutique bow, other than you use, instead of using the 7 8 inch ribbon for this, you're going to use one and a half inch for this. So you need your base bow, you need your Twisted Boutique bow, you need your spikes. You're going to need, I'm going to use a feather puff on this one. And then you're going to need a piece of string to tie it all together. Um, I think this is like, I don't know, I cut it maybe 12, 14 inches long. And you're going to need a partially lined alligator clip. And I've got a no slip grip in here. You're going to need some kind of an embellishment to go in the center. And then this is a piece of 3 8 inch, um, it's probably about 5 inches long, and this is just going to tie it all together. You're going to need some scissors, and you're going to need a glue gun. So to start out with, you're going to take, you're going to take your spikes. We want to lay this feather puff right there in the center. Just like that. So we're going to take glue and we're just going to glue back and forth. And then we're just going to lay this right in the center. Hold it tight. Try not to burn yourself. So there you have that on there, your feather puff. Then you're going to take your boutique bow and you're going to put some glue on the back of that and then you're going to center that in the middle of this. And it doesn't have to be, you don't have to pull it apart or anything, just lay it straight down on there and then grab underneath and then you're going to hold it tight. And then once you've done that, then you're going to flip it over and you're going to put some glue right here on the back. And then you're going to take your base bow. And I don't know if you can tell, but it's flatter on the back than it is the front. I want to lay the flatter side, I want it on the outside. so. It gives it a better lift. So put that on there and then you just hold it real tight until it sets up. It doesn't take very long. And then once you get that, then I take this string and I just go around the center. Wrap it twice and tie it tight. Wrap it twice again and tie it tight. And cut it off and then it's all together and then you can kind of shape it up a little bit. It's not going to come apart. You may have a few feathers floating around but other than that it's not going to come apart. So there is basically it's all together. So now what you want to do is you want to take your little piece of, of 3 8 inch, put some glue on the back, and then I come under here, and then I'll just cover that string and hold it until it's pretty dry. 
and then you're just gonna take it and come up through the middle and as you come up just kind of tug these down a little bit and then go all the way around you can pull your feathers up a little bit just so they don't get squished but you want to pull it pretty tight and then turn it around and then you just cut this extra off and then I do a quick heat seal and hope you don't catch the feathers on fire because they stink So then once you've got that, then you turn it back around. And just kind of fluff it all up. And there it's pretty much together. Now you want to add your center embellishment or whatever it is you put in the center. So we're just going to add that right in the center. And hold it until it sets. It doesn't take very long. Like I said, it's hot glue. This is not, I use the high temp hot glue. Okay, so then now all we have to do is add the alligator clip. To the back. <clears throat> and just push it, hold it tight till it pretty much sets. And then you could just fluff your bow, make the minor adjustments that you need to make. And there it is. Your finished put together stacked bow. The time consuming part is making the bow, cutting the spikes, heat sealing. That's that's the the time consuming part. So putting it together isn't really that time consuming, but you do want to make sure that it is in there good and tight so that it's not going to fall apart. So, there you have it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below and I will answer it or if you have any ideas that you want me to do a tutorial on feel free to comment on that as well and make sure you like my Facebook page thanks for watching